All right, so welcome everybody. So this week we are talking about intuition and that's what we're gonna continue talking about. Today what I wanna talk about is I still wanna talk about your own intuition, not psychic abilities for like readings, not mediumship abilities, not going there yet. I'm still talking about learning to trust your intuition. And I wanna give you an exercise. Now this is in the Psychic 101 class that you may or may not have paid attention to. All right, so it is in this class, but I'm gonna talk about it um, anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. So let's say that you are in a split decision that you're really torn, like perhaps you really don't like your job, but you feel guilty for quitting it you don't know that you should quit it. Now, when I talk about these things, I don't mean just quit your job and leave yourself fretful of where you'll be. But like if it's a career change, like you've been working this job for a while, but you really wanna go over and do this, or perhaps you're, you're wanting to um, take your, take and fine tune your business, maybe instead of it being as big as it was, you wanna narrow it. And so what you can actually do, and and again this to me is like when it's a yes or no thing or a you know a move or not move or start a business or don't start a business become a truck driver don't become a truck driver this is kind of where i'm going with this so if it's like a a one or you know it's a yes or a no kind of thing all right so it's only like what we're dealing with is like two things all right so what you actually can do is that you can close your eyes and when you close your eyes you're going to visualize a goldfish bowl and in that goldfish bowl are two sheets of paper one might say yes the other might say no or it might say move or don't move or um be an artist or be a baker I don't know whatever those two things are that you are struggling with and sometimes it could be that we're actually offered a promotion and we want the promotion but we don't necessarily feel like we're capable of doing that because we're just really afraid so it could even be to accept the promotion or not accept the promotion okay and yes could it be to marry someone or not marry someone yes it could be that, but again, if you got yes to marry someone, you divorce them three years later, it doesn't mean that that situation was wrong, but this is kind of, again, learning to trust your intuition. So you're gonna visualize that there's these two pieces of paper, so I, you know, I call them the sticky notes that are in the goldfish bowl. And you're gonna visualize this bowl spinning round and round and round and round. So, you know, do that with me right now. Put your, in your mind, in the invisible bowl, you know, put put those those two things in there. What you're dealing with to, uh, you know, I don't know. Stop being, uh, stop being a cosmetologist and and starting a business, uh, having resale clothes. Okay, so and yes, my eyes are closed because I'm helping you visualize. Okay, close <laughs> close your eyes. All right, so you have those two things. All right, so you're gonna put them in the goldfish bowl, and the bowl is spinning. Okay, the bowl is spinning. And then, you know, you see it stop and you're gonna reach in and you're going to pull out and you're with your hands, okay, invisibly, okay, you're gonna pull out and you're gonna have one in your left hand and one in your right hand, okay? Now, what I want you to do, and as soon as you do that, you open the prominent hand. That means if you're right-handed, open your right hand first. Mine's left-handed, so I always open my left hand first. And whatever you see there, you should have a sense of relief. So if you go, oh, it told me to stay at my job. Oh, and you're really upset. You know that's not the right thing for you. But usually this, what's in your prominent hand is going to be the right thing. But if you're really disappointed with it and you're really sad about it, then trust your intuition that it's not the right thing to do. Now, if you get it, but you're scared, all right, and that's all that it is is about being scared start taking the steps to do that and so this is a good way of learning to trust your intuition all right so this is these are good steps so it's like no and and it's not about like buying the yellow shoes or the blue shoes okay 
buy the pair that you like, and if you like both, buy them both, okay? Why can you not have both pair of shoes, all right? So, like, if you've only given yourself permission to spend $30, and one pair of, the, one pair of shoes is $27, that doesn't leave room for the other pair, then fine, pick a pair, all right? And yeah, you can do it with that. But my thing is, if you really can buy both shoes, buy both pair of shoes instead of do it, giving yourself that kind of struggle over shoes. All right. So, so give yourself permission to put it in the imaginary goldfish bowl, pull it out and open it up. And it's not about, and again, if you're consciously changing it out, then you're trying to manipulate that situation. We're, you're wanting to learn to trust your intuition. But if there is a sense of relief, you know, it's the right one. And usually that's what it is. Usually you have relief. But just in case you don't, because you flipped it out, you know, you've got to learn to trust that. So these are some wonderful exercises that you can do in order to learn to trust your intuition. And I want to remind you, you are a creator of your world and you can consciously create the life that you want to have. And that's so awesome that you have that opportunity to do that. And I want to thank you for being in the Academy and I want to tell you to have a great day and we're going to continue with this discussion throughout the week. All right. So have a beautiful day and thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes.